What if the most dangerous threat facing Southeast Asia isn't above ground, but deep beneath the sea? It doesn't rumble or roar. It doesn't warn you before it strikes. Yet scientists say this silent force has the power to reshape coastlines, upend economies, and impact millions in minutes. The threat? It's called the Manila Trench, and it's quietly building towards something massive. At first glance, the South China Sea seems serene. Tourists lounge along sunlit shores, fishermen cast their nets, cargo ships pass through peacefully. But below the surface, tectonic plates are colliding in slow motion, setting the stage for a potential megathrust earthquake that rivals the deadliest in modern history. Most people have never heard of the Manila Trench. But to geologists, it's one of the world's most dangerous subduction zones. Why? Because it hasn't released significant pressure in centuries. And when a fault stays locked for that long, it doesn't fade away, it becomes more volatile. In this video, we're diving deep, figuratively and literally, into the mechanics, history and global consequences of a rupture in the Manila Trench. We'll look at what scientists know, what they're still trying to figure out, and most importantly, why the time to prepare is right now. So if you've ever wondered how tsunamis form, how tectonic plates work, or whether our modern cities are built to handle what's coming, hit that like button and subscribe. Because the story under the sea might just be the most urgent one you haven't heard. Let's begin by understanding exactly what lies beneath Southeast Asia, and why it's causing growing concern across the scientific world. The Manila Trench is a massive underwater fault line stretching over 1,000 kilometers from Taiwan to the Philippines. It's where the Eurasian Plate is forced beneath the Philippine Sea Plate, building enormous pressure over time. Unlike smaller faults, the Manila Trench has been unusually quiet, but that quietness means the plates are locked. And that stored energy? It's just waiting for a catastrophic release. This megathrust fault could generate a quake between 8.8 .8 to 9.3 rivaling the most powerful earthquakes in history. A rupture could shift the seabed, triggering devastating tsunamis and structural collapse in coastal cities. What's alarming is the lack of monitoring tools compared to other subduction zones. This area lacks centuries of seismic data to model future events. The scientific community agrees. It's not a matter of if, but when. The Philippine Mobile Belt is one of the most geologically complex regions on Earth a chaotic meeting point of tectonic forces. The South China Sea's crust is being pulled under the Philippine Sea Plate at 2 to 3 centimeters per year, building stress quickly. When tectonic plates get stuck, energy builds like a compressed spring, and eventually, something gives. The result isn't a mild tremor, it's a seismic rupture that can trigger tsunamis in seconds. The Manila Trench is beneath deep ocean waters capable of displacing vast amounts of water if the seafloor shifts. This combination makes it one of the world's most closely watched, yet least understood seismic threats. And the lack of frequent earthquakes? That's not comfort. It's a warning flag. In the absence of long seismic records, scientists turn to nature itself for clues. Along the western coast of Luzon, ancient coral terraces have been discovered, natural platforms that were once underwater but were suddenly uplifted by violent earthquakes. Radiocarbon dating on these formations reveals a concerning pattern. Massive quakes along the Manila Trench may occur every 400 to 600 years. The last significant event could have happened centuries ago, which means we may already be overdue for the next one. Historical accounts are sparse and vague, with reports of large earthquakes near Moro, Ilocos, and Pangasinan in the 1600s and 1800s, but we can't confirm whether the Manila Trench caused them. That ambiguity makes it harder to assess how much strain is currently locked in the fault. Scientists are now piecing together evidence from geology rather than journals. Coastal uplift, displaced sediment layers, and ancient tsunami debris all suggest this fault has a violent past and a ticking future. The takeaway is unsettling. The Manila Trench hasn't ruptured in centuries, but the geological clock suggests it's more than ready. And when it goes, it could rival any disaster we've seen in modern times. When a megathrust fault like the Manila Trench finally gives way, the consequences are immediate and staggering. A section of the seabed could rise by 10 meters in seconds, instantly displacing seawater and creating a tsunami wave taller than a three-story building. 
Tsunami models show that in just 10 to 15 minutes, massive waves could strike the coastlines of western Luzon, hitting densely populated cities like Subic, Dagupan, and potentially Metro Manila. With so little time to respond, early warning systems become a race against nature. But the wave wouldn't stop there. Simulations suggest the tsunami could travel across the South China Sea, hitting Vietnam, Malaysia, Hong Kong, and southern China within two to four hours. Wave heights could reach five to ten meters depending on the coastline. This is the worst-case scenario scientist model, but it's based on real-world physics and geological pressure that already exists. That's what makes it so alarming. It's not an exaggeration, it's a forecast rooted in science. And unlike some natural disasters, there would be no second chances. The first wave is often the deadliest. If cities are unprepared, the cost in lives and infrastructure could be catastrophic. The warning signs are there. Are we paying attention? If the Manila Trench ruptures, the disaster won't stop at the Philippine coastline. It would escalate into a regional humanitarian and economic emergency. Key port cities like Manila, Shenzhen, and Hong Kong could suffer massive damage. These aren't just population centers, they're global trade gateways. A disruption in this corridor could paralyze supply chains worldwide, especially in electronics, fuel, and manufacturing. Critical infrastructure, bridges, airports, refineries could be flooded or destroyed. That would leave millions without power, clean water, or transportation. The economic toll could extend into the trillions of dollars. Financial markets would likely panic. Relief efforts would be stretched thin. Geopolitical tensions in the contested South China Sea could complicate international cooperation. This wouldn't just be a disaster for Southeast Asia, it would be a blow to global stability, affecting everything from shipping costs to stock markets in the US, Europe, and beyond. In a hyper-connected world, one rupture can trigger global consequences. Despite the mounting risk, regional preparedness is still far from ideal. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has made strides in monitoring and education, but tools to detect deep-sea seismic activity remain limited. There are too few ocean-bottom sensors, deep-sea pressure gauges, and tsunami detection buoys in the South China Sea. Most seismic monitoring is land-based, which is too far from where the danger begins. Countries like Japan have invested heavily in early warning infrastructure and started sharing their models with Southeast Asian nations. But coverage across the region remains uneven, especially in coastal and rural communities. Public awareness is another challenge. In many high-risk areas, locals are unaware of the trench's existence, let alone what to do if a tsunami warning is issued. Even cities with advanced disaster plans could be caught off guard without real-time data and communication networks. Time matters in a disaster, and right now, too many places are running out of it. Modern science has the tools to save lives from disaster. With the right funding, we can set up seismic networks and AI tsunami models that alert us in seconds. But we need international cooperation and political will to make it happen. The science is there, but urgency is often missing. Organizations like ASEAN and UNESCO are pushing for stronger collaboration in the South China Sea. The Manila Trench doesn't recognize borders, and neither will its waves. Scientists are using GPS to detect subtle shifts underground that could signal major quakes. These are the Earth's early whispers before the scream. The challenge is turning those whispers into warnings fast enough to save lives. As energy builds in the fault, the risk of a megathrust earthquake grows. Recent quakes nearby are unsettling, as the main fault remains silent. Some believe small tremors may be a sign of shifting pressure, but we need better data. Geology doesn't wait for politics. Preparedness plans must be scaled up. Coastal mapping needs updates, and public education is crucial. Knowing what to do in those first minutes can mean life or death. We're not helpless, but we are on the clock. The Manila Trench is not just a Philippine issue, it's a regional and global concern that needs a united response. Right now, there's no unified tsunami warning system in the South China Sea, one of the busiest maritime zones on Earth. That gap could cost lives. It's time for regional powers, Philippines, China, Vietnam, Malaysia, Taiwan, and others, to cooperate on disaster readiness. International agencies must step in before disasters strike. Planning, funding, simulation drills, and tech sharing can reduce human loss and economic damage. We've seen the consequences of ignored warnings. 
and how early action, like in Japan, can save thousands. The Manila Trench demands that same urgency. Its next move will affect everyone. Are we listening to the silence? In earthquake science, a quiet fault isn't a blessing, it's a countdown. The Manila Trench has all the ingredients for a catastrophic event, locked plates, deep sea subduction, and rapid tectonic convergence. Add a lack of regional coordination and we have a high-risk scenario with no margin for delay. But here's the hope. We have the tools, knowledge, and historical precedent to prepare. What's needed now is awareness and action. Governments, institutions, and communities must treat this as a current reality. The time to build, educate, and coordinate is now, while we still have it. When the rupture happens, the window for reaction will shrink to minutes, and by then the consequences will be tragic, not preventable. Understanding the Manila Trench isn't just for scientists, it's for all of us. Stay informed, know your local evacuation zones, share this video with someone near the coast, Demand better infrastructure from your leaders. Support disaster awareness programs. When we prepare together, we survive together. Don't wait for the silence to end. Let's respond now, while the earth is still whispering.